Kawhi Leonard has a ton of opinions. I mean, a ton. And here's what Shams put out. This is when everything just completely broke through. Shams, oh, you may not believe it, but you best believe it. Spurs star Kawhi Leonard going to miss the remainder of the postseason. And then Greg Popovich was asked about it. He's like, hey, man, uh, uh, you know, you'll have to ask Kawhi and his group that question about uh, Kawhi's inactivity and what have you. Real quick, in your opinion, have the Spurs mishandled the situation? At some point they must have. I don't know exactly where, but if it's gotten this bad, there's no it's way horrible. one side has done it perfectly. You know, it's mm -hmm. impossible. Or else it wouldn't be there. Right. Um, if, even if even if for some reason you bend over backwards and you give too much or you're way too soft on the situation, whatever it is, mm -hmm. if you wanted him back, then you didn't handle the situation well. If you'd rather hold your ground and then whatever it is you're trying to get out of it, sure, I mean, if you're okay with that. So we're gonna do this a little bit later on, but the misdiagnoses that NBA teams have put on their own employees, their players, right. and how those players have handled it. Here's what one executive told Vincent Goodwill, who was doing a piece for Bleach Report. Look at Isaiah's situation, is what this Western Conference executive told BR, Bleach Report. Are you kidding me? Cost that guy a whole bunch of money by coming out trying to play? Then on top of that, a lot of these guys are starting to have their own workout people, medical people, an Eastern Conference executive told Bleach Report. I'm gonna get back to that in a second, people, medical people. They're paying these guys and a lot of times these guys have a different opinion than the team or present themselves as dedicated to the player 100%. Do you buy this Eastern Conference executive? That a lot of players have their own no, Medical like people? like like being like, yeah, I'm happy for it. Like they have their people, and they're gonna go back, and they're gonna do this. I think that's gonna fine. do that. You do. Yeah, I do not. That's, that's the thing. If they have guys now. Uh, if 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 a player has his own medical people or or advising or maybe he's at a doctor he's had forever or trainers, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. That's his career. No, it is. Yes. That's that's people that's looking out for his career. The team is not always looking out for a person's that's entire the main point. career. Yes. So I that's why I do think it's okay they have their own people. No, 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 I think it's okay as well. Uh -huh. Let me let me try okay. to clarify here. And I think we're gonna get into this quote in a moment. But an executive. Saying like, oh, they're gonna have their people and they're gonna get a second opinion. Uh -huh. Like, I don't believe that the team is always oh, going to okay. have the players. That we're saying the same thing. True, that the true players true. are going. I'm glad we finally met. Mm -hmm. uh, that the players are not gonna always have uh, the, the team is not gonna have the best interest of the players because all. I'm not old school. You're not old school. But there have been the old. There's been the old school mentality that is almost retired at this point. For example, in baseball, rub some dirt on it. Go back in. It's like, oh no, 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 no. We're going to protect our investment here. Joel Embiid is going to play in limited games for three years. Ben Simmons is going to play in limited games for two years. Like that's just where we are right now because you want to protect your investment. Uh, it needs to be a collaborative effort between the team and whomever that outside entity may be, because at the end of the day, both entities want what's best for the player. It's fine, sure. right? Sure. Okay. To a degree. What do you mean? Well, we what just said mean? a lot of times teams don't want what's best for the player. They want what's best for their team. Right, that's our opinion. Which means get him out there now, and if he gets hurt, cool, but as long as he helps us win some games now. Totally. He gets us to game seven of the finals and gets hurt. Well, we tell him to go back in, but then we end up winning. Oh, great effort. Then if he's hurt for the whole half next season, we trade him because I can't believe this guy's injury prone. Totally. Yeah. Come on, it's just more. This, we've it, seen this story. It just has a bigger impact in the National Football League. Because it's like, oh, this dude's coming off a broken leg. He's coming off a torn ACL. He's coming off a broken finger as a quarterback. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do this. Concussions. We can't do it. Three points. Take him behind years. the blue tent and, and snap a couple times in his face and go, oh, he's good. Right. I'm and just having him snort some smelling salts <laughs> a little bit. Oh, man, yeah. We're going to party like it's 1959, right, fellas? Uh, both sides are often at an impasse about how to proceed. Solid relationships built on trust often become strained, even when there's no friction before. And we could agree on that. That's your moneymaker. This is how you make a living. That's your leverage, the executive told Bleach Report. If you feel that team doctors didn't do a good job or weren't thorough enough, I have no problem with players getting second opinions. This is what I was pointing towards, and I'm sorry that I spoiled it a little bit. However, I do, this could be one executive, and there are a ton of executives in every single league office 
We do not know the demographic of this executive. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that he's 40 or under at this point. Oh. Because it is, again, the old school mentality that it's like, go out there, you kill for this sport. You die for this sport. You bleed for you this understand sport. We're you bleed you. out for this sport. Yeah. yeah, that's the mentality that the old school has had. So. I do not believe that this is symbolic of the NBA because we have seen the backlash that Kawhi Leonard has faced this very season. Yeah, but the reason they've, they've always been able, at least the old school thought of being able to do that is because, as we've always said, it's supported by your fan base enough. So mm -hmm. that's why the NFL can stretch out long enough to uh, to ostracize players or to even go with the, oh, you know how much we're paying you, these overpaid prima donna athletes that don't deserve the money, right. please, because fan bases, some, will still agree with that. And when it's said, they go, yeah, that's right, why is he getting paid so much? Hey, because maybe because you paid the 1550 for the beer at the game, you know? Everybody's getting paid, so you don't go to the uh, Coors Light guy and go, hey, why is this horrible, watered down, tasteless beer cost you me $12? You better correct yourself with Coors Light. <laughs> Why are you crapping all over Coors Light? It's Sorry. a silver bullet. Okay, Have Budweiser, you seen the commercials? People uh, all over the Miller, world join hands. I'll go through all of them. And uh, by the way, even the good beers. So the good beers are actually $17 when the bad beers are $12.50. It's the champagne of beers. <laughs> <laughs> That's How the, dare you? That's the 33 Rolling Rock, all right? <clears throat> so, I mean, so we, we don't complain about those things being overpriced, but we just complain about the players being overpaid when right. they're the ones who've been working there. Right. Behinds like, off their Do whole you life. think, I, I'm just curious, do you think that, like, people in Mexico view our beer the way that we view their beer? How like, do you I, view their beer? I, I think Dos Equis is amazing. I think Modelo is by far the best Mexican beer. I think Pacifico is a solid number two. No one views American major brand beers as good. Glad, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, very quickly, for peace of mind, we're confident in our ability as an organization, we encourage that, go get one. We're cool with that, whatever makes you mentally comfortable, go for it. The Spurs doctors have cleared Kawhi Leonard, but he has soft second opinions. The totally cleared part, well, on top of that, the doctors are saying they feel you can't harm the injury anymore if you play outside of a freak accident. But if you feel you are, it's a mental part for these guys. That's big. Let us know your thoughts, youtube.com slash TYT Sports.